Hey everyone, Scruffy Golden here. Recently, Starlink rolled out something we've all been pining for since the days Starlink Beta originally rolled out. It's a map. It, what, no, not that map. Although, oh, although that's a cool map, but uh, no, a Starlink map. For the first time ever, we can actually see where you can place an order and where Starlink service is actually available. Now, the change to the website was pretty subtle, so you may have missed it, but let me show you how to get there and get you in front of this beautiful new tool. So why does this even matter? In case you don't know, Starlink is an incredible internet service that uses low orbit satellites to bring fiber optic quality internet service to potentially anywhere on the globe. Now, most people would be thrilled to have this quality of internet service in their home or office. But the idea of being able to take the service on the road in say your RV, camper, or trailer is a chance to cut the bonds to the home or office, allowing people to get out more, go farther, and stay out longer. I promise you, it is a game-changing, indeed life-changing service when you can get it. Unfortunately, it is still hard to get Starlink, and in fact, it's still unavailable in most parts of the world. To put a number on it, Starlink's been given permission to put 12,000 satellites into orbit, and they've asked for permission to launch an additional 30,000. To date, though, they've put 2,000 in the sky. As a result, their service is primarily concentrated in North America, Europe, and Australia, New Zealand, with a couple countries in South America. To keep things from getting out of control and to ensure that Starlink can provide service to those who paid for it, Starlink prevents your service and your dish from working at a location that is anything but the address you registered with Starlink. In other words, your dish and service are only going to work at the location you gave Starlink. Until last week, to get service, you would typically go to the Starlink.com website enter your address, typically of your home, and just as typically you would be told that service is not available and wouldn't be for another year or two or sometimes three until more Starlink satellites were put overhead. Now having said that, if you're a digital nomad of any kind, you may not want to place an order for your service at your house. In fact, you may not have one. You may be living out of an RV on the road. And there are a couple of other reasons you might not want this. For instance, you might be willing to go to where the Starlink service is rather than waiting months or years for it to come to you. And this only became reasonable at the end of 2021 when Starlink started to make it super easy to change your address. Prior to that, you would have to call in, talk to a human, give them the new location, and it actually took a little while for the effect to take place. And it wasn't the end of the world, but it did take some effort. At the end of last year, Starlink changed their website so that you can go in, make a change to your address on site, and in my experience, the uh, change takes place in just a few minutes. Another reason you might want to place an order for equipment at a place other than your home is, is frankly a little bit of a subtle one, but it is this. Once you have the equipment, there are more places that you can move your service into than there are that are available for placing an order. The most obvious example of this is a location that doesn't have an address at all. For instance, I recently used my Starlink service out by the Great Sand Dunes in Colorado. I promise you, it is wide open land for miles. I, there were only a half dozen people within miles, and the simple fact is I couldn't order my equipment there if Starlink had allowed me to. In another instance, Starlink sets a threshold on how many orders can be taken in an, in an area, in a location. Even though subscription slots, usability of it for people who already have the equipment can come and go in and out of that area quite a bit. Now, some people think that doing this bumps people back in the queue, those who are waiting to have their orders fulfilled. There are a lot of reasons to think this is not the case. But to be honest, we don't really know what Starlink's doing in that regard. But what we do know for sure is that this mobility is baked into their service. And in fact, we are receiving increasing reports of people who have roaming turned on. And what is really clear is that Starlink is making it easier and easier to move in and out of these areas. So why is this background important? Because so many things have changed in just the last three or four weeks. But one that hadn't changed until just a few days ago is that it was a complete guessing game 
name as to where Starlink would be available. To place an order, you would just keep putting in addresses until something took. In order to move your address, you kept entering addresses and plus codes until something worked. And there was seemingly no rhyme or reason for it. I've experienced multiple cases where moving my address just 100 feet on the map brought my satellite dish to life. As of last week, all of that has changed. Starlink has now given us a tool that takes all of the guessing out of placing orders, and it has taken one heck of a lot of the guessing out of finding a new location to move into. Let me show you. So accessing the Starlink map could not be easier. Simply go to the Starlink website at www.starlink.com. You will be taken to the main Starlink page, which you've probably seen before, but there is a subtle difference to this page as of last week. And it's up here in the top left corner where you will now see a Google map drop pin icon. Clicking this icon will bring you to this glorious site, this beautiful black and gray map with concentrations of bright and dark green over North America, Australia, New Zealand, and Europe primarily. There are also concentrations over Chile and Brazil, South America. And in a sign of the times most recently, you can now see access in the Ukraine. Before I go further, if you found the location of that drop pin icon or this map in general, if you found it helpful or useful, I'd appreciate it if you'd whack the like button below so that this video could spread to others. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Now Starlink created this map specifically to show you where you could place an order. As you can see from the legend up here in the top left corner, if it's bright green, then you're able to place an order and use the service immediately in that location. If it's dark green, however, you can place an order, but you'll be put on hold until there's either satellites placed overhead or additional satellites are placed overhead. Now at first glance, uh, you're pretty darn set if you are trying to place an order in Australia, New Zealand, Europe or Canada. You could place an order in any of those locations and, and use them almost instantly. The most notable exception in those areas is Switzerland, which does appear to still be dark. Now, looking at the United States, it's much more hit and miss. In fact, more than half of the country is pockmarked with dark green dots. And there are entire areas that are notably dark. The most notable to me is New Mexico. I'm not sure why, but the bottom half of that state is just a solid dark spot. But there are also vast swaths of unavailability in Missouri, Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee. Now, these areas are filling in, and Starlink does seem to be picking up speed and getting satellites into orbit, but it does suddenly make sense why placing an order in the US has felt so arbitrary at times. Now, this map takes all of the guessing out of placing an order. If your location's in the bright green, simply enter that address in the box below and you'll almost certainly be able to place your order and use the service. Now, if your location is in the dark green, you may think you're out of luck, but that's not the case at all. The most popular video I've created to date is how to get your Starlink within a week. I will place a link for it in the description below and up in the right-hand corner. It explains in detail how you can place an order and get your equipment within a week. And if I had had this map, this map would have saved me hours of driving time and guessing. Okay, so let's shift gears for a second. We know that the dark green means you can't place an order at that location. Does it also mean there's no service there? The answer is we don't know for sure until you try. But I promise you there are locations where you are able to move your service into that are not available for placing orders. So for instance, in my hometown of Golden, Colorado, you can see that it's in the dark. And if I were to place an order there, it wouldn't let me. But can I move my service to it? The answer in this case is no. You can see that if I try to move my service into Golden, Colorado, it says we're at capacity and unable to do so. But check this out. Let's look at Beattyville. Kentucky. You can see that it's well into the dark green and it shouldn't allow me to place an order there. In fact, if I try, you will see that it says it'll take a deposit, but it won't be available until 2023. But if I move my service and plunk myself anywhere in Beattyville, Kentucky, you can see that it works. It actually takes that. This is proof positive that there are areas that you can move your service into, but that don't necessarily take orders. 
So if we have the equipment, what can we make of this map? Well, in the bright green areas, we've already learned you're able to place an order and use the service there. In fact, Starlink guarantees service at those locations. This means that you are absolutely able to move into that area. With regard to the dark areas, that's a little trickier. You don't know until you try it, but in at least some cases, as we just saw, if the dark area is close enough to a bright area, in other words, if the area you're looking for is in a dark spot, but it's close enough to a service's edge, then you might be able to use it. It doesn't take all of the guesswork out of figuring out where Starlink service is available, but it sure eliminates a lot of it, an awful lot of it. Please check out some of my other Starlink videos if you found this information useful. It is a beautiful world out there. Grab your Starlink dish, go out and see it, live without compromise, and I will see you out there.